Hey everyone, this is Andrew, the 3D Printing Engineer, and in this video, we're going to print some pangolins. Let's go. So immediately out of the print, um, the, the first one that I printed was the 50% scale pangolin. Um, it came out looking pretty nice. I only printed the body at first just to see how it would bend. And at first it was almost impossible to bend it. Eventually I did get some kind of bend and it, it works pretty good. I used pretty fine settings. I think I used uh, 0.14 millimeter layer heights um, and I use a normal, normal temperature. It was like 185 or something and a bed temperature of 60. And it printed pretty good. I, I did use a raft because some of these small details in the bottom uh, were having trouble getting actually stuck to the build plate. So I just used a raft and the raft came off uh, great. So, so that was no problem. The problem is that there's some, uh, there's some fusing in between the moving parts. So most of these, uh, after like a half an hour of uh, struggling with pliers and other tools, um, and getting some very sore hands, like got red spots on my hands from trying to bend this thing so hard. I got almost every joint done. So you can see that most of them flex. Um, there's these two got stuck together. You see, I really tried to get them apart. Uh, these two stuck together. And then these two up here were still stuck together. So overall, pretty good. I, I would be willing to bet if I printed a few of these that I would get one that I could snap out every single joint and have a nice nice uh, little 50% scale pangolin, or if I want even finer detail, I use 0.14 uh, millimeter layer height. Um, but I could have gone finer. I think I can go down to 0 0.08 millimeters. That's that's the limit. Um, but anyways, so I decided instead of doing that, I'll go to 60%. So I'll show you that time lapse. So I, I printed the 60% pangolin with the same settings. I used a 0.14 millimeter layer height. I think it's 185C um, extrusion temperature, um, and the bed was like 60 or something. Again, this is, this is all in Hatchbox PLA, um, is where I have. And I also use a raft just because some of those small details in the bottom, which I'll show you here. This one I did print out feet. Um, and this one came out right now. It's great. Um, every joint bends with the exception of the tail, the very, very tip of the tail. <laughs> um, that's fine. You, that that barely even uh, is allowed to move, even on the full scale one. Um, so, so just for reference, this is a full scale pangolin. <laughs> this thing is amazing. The, the tolerances are great. Um, it barely took any effort to take it out of the printer. Nothing fused, and it's. It's just great. Um, I kind of, I, I expected this to happen when I printed it at small scales, that since the tolerances would get smaller, that, um, you know, sometimes they would just, they would just kind of connect in between those, those parts that are normally relatively far apart. But I'm pretty happy with this. Um, it, it did take a good half an hour of very uh, intensely trying to break joints, and I got some pliers in what I was doing. Um, so if you're printing one of these, you can kind of pinch pliers in between two of these inside pieces. And then if you do that carefully enough, it'll eventually bend it a little bit and just enough for you to then go back and just bend it. Um, and then you can kind of do that for every single one of them. The other thing I did was I could slide a screwdriver in, in there and just kind of pry upwards very carefully. And that also freed up a few joints and it didn't really leave any um, residual um, bad marks. Um, this print came out pretty good. I don't know if I can get the tiny little support material on the mouth off, but that's what I'm going to try uh, at some point. Um, but yeah, 60% pangolin came out almost perfect. 50% pangolin, 
probably come out fine uh, with a few more attempts. 100% Pangolin is a favorite thing I've, I've ever printed. <laughs> it's just so... It's wonderful. When I, I have this thing in my desk at work, and I find myself just, like, when I'm, when I'm like, reading something, I was kind of pick this up. And <laughs> just kind of do that. Um, and then I printed the base for that one, too, which was just the stock base. Um, oh, yeah, another thing to point out is that on this 100% scale pangolin, I did print out the feet, I think, twice to be able to get a pair that actually um, bent. On these, I didn't force it to try to break them, like, I had to break the joint. Free. Um, I could probably keep printing these or print it to final resolution and get joints that worked, but um, I didn't bother. I figured this is such a small scale um, that it's fine just having them like that. Yeah, uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please leave me a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. See you later.